Can you change the tempo or use multiple tempos in the one song in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad? The answer is no, but like most things in GarageBand, we have a workaround that can help us get this done. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how, let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Now, one of the big limitations we have in GarageBand iOS is that we can't use more than one tempo, BPM, or speed in our song. So how do we work around this? Well, the solution's a little bit clunky, but I'm going to show you anyway, because it's a cool trick, and it could help you with some of the other things you want to do in your track. So let's take no more time, and we'll dive in and show you right now. Okay, we're here in GarageBand, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very short little song here to show you a demo of this. So let's just grab this 70s Latin rock piano, because I've been really busting to use this in a track. It sounds like this. That's just a cool sound. I've always wanted to use it in something, so I'm using it in this demo. All right, let's just grab a bit of a beat to go along with this. Now, I was playing around before, and I really like one of these African, African ensembles. No, it was something. Yeah, it was this one. All right, let's bring this in here. And together they sound like this. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll focus. I'll focus. It's just a cool beat. All right, so now here's the thing. If we want to change the tempo, we can come in here to the little spanner. And let's say we wanted this to actually be a little bit slower. We can dial this down to 100 here. And then our tempo. There you go down at 100 but let's just say we wanted eight bar intro and then we wanted this to kick it up a notch and go to 120 well there's no way to natively do that here so we're going to have to be a little bit creative so what we're going to first do is i'm going to go back to my songs i'm going to tap in the top left corner there and i'm going to rename this sucker so whoop, we pressed back on it we're going to very carefully press just here on the name and then go rename and we're going to call this one let's just call it part one and hit done and then what we're going to do is we're going to select in the top right we're going to tap on here and down the bottom here we've got a duplicate button the second from the left next to share we'll tap on that there you go we've got part one two but just to clarify that we'll just call this part two just change that there so now we've got two identical parts of this track. Now what you'd be doing if you're creating your own song, you'd probably record like the first half and then you do the same sort of thing and have your second half because what we're doing here, you're probably ahead of me, is we're going to create two different tracks and then we're going to smoosh those together into a third track to actually create our final song at out mixed beat. So let's come into this part here. We're going to tap on part two. Now this one, we're going to tap in the top here and go to our tempo and let's dial this one up. We'll tap and hold and drag up on that one very cool trick to drag your tempo quickly 120 so it sounds like this now little bit frenetic so we've got that there now we can come back to my songs here so what do we do from here you might think that's okay but you can't copy and paste from one to the other because it's going to it's going to take on whatever tempo you actually go to and you're exactly right so what we need to do is we need to export both of these tracks as a WAV file and then bring them together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap select here I'm going to tap on this first one and then I'm going to share it down in the bottom left here we're going to share it as a song and here we go, uncompressed wave. We're going to tap share. If you want to learn all that sharing, I've got a video which I'll link up there and at the end, which you can check out. We're going to tap save to files here and it's going to export this song. And we're going to save it right back here in my GarageBand folder just so we can see exactly where it is so we can then import it back into this track. So here we go. I'm going to say on my iPad here, once it pops up, it's, it's gray for a minute there just while it thinks, by the way. If you're ever wondering about that, it's just processing on my iPad in GarageBand. Let's tap add and it should pop pop up right there. There it is, part one. It's a WAV file, 5.1 megabytes. Cool. Let's just repeat that process. We'll tap here. We'll tap share. We'll share this part two. And now keep in mind, part one is at 100 BPM. Hit save to files. Part two is at 120 BPM. So we've got the same track here, just slightly faster. So again, this is a very simple version, but you can get the drift. If you've got a more complex song, you can use exactly the same method. We're going to tap add there. And there you go. We've got our two parts ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do now is create a third track. So I'm going to go into here and tap create document. Oop, I'm going to hit done first. I'm going to tap on create document and I'm in a brand new track here. So we'll just go to the audio recorder to just go to a fresh track here, hit the track view 
and here we are, we're in a blank, fresh track. Now, what I like to do is I'll set the tempo to one of mine. Now, the tempo is not gonna really be an, a factor here, but this will just help us line up your first piece at 100 BPM. After that, it's not gonna matter. The other thing I'm gonna do is hit the plus button here, and I know I'm gonna need more space, so I'm just gonna tap this and just drag this up, give myself maybe maybe just 80 bars, or there you go, 81, 80 bars, and that's just gonna give us enough space to bring these songs in. Now, you can see here my loop icon in the top right corner. If you wanna know about Apple Loops and importing, again, another video up there, I'm gonna tap on the loop icon there, and now it's gonna say you've got some audio files here, do you wanna move them into your transfer folder? I'll tap move here, just for, for convenience sake here. Um, so here are all the ones that I have in my GarageBand file transfer, and there, it's banged these into here as well. So if you say yes to that, it's just going to move them from your GarageBand into your file transfer folder just to keep things more organized. So all I need to do now is tap and hold and drag part one into the start of a track. And not surprisingly, because it's at 100 BPM, it's going to line up perfectly here. If we hit play, there's our 100 BPM. So there's our 100 BPM wave file. What we can now do is tap on the loop icon again, and we're gonna grab part two, and we're gonna tap and drag this and plonk it just straight after that one. So the transition is gonna go there, but what you'll notice is, because it's faster, yeah, it's not gonna be in sync. So yes, using this process, you wanna do it later in your song when you don't need to line up on the grid. And of course you can do this with three, four, five, however many tempo changes you want, but just keep in mind that you are going to have to keep your tabs on where everything is and line everything up. But let's just show you now, I'm coming here and let's play these last two bars and listen to how they transition from the 100 BPM into the 120. I'm gonna tap my metronome off because that will just get confusing, but let's take a listen now. So there you go, you can go from that 100 BPM to 120 BPM. You can have that tempo change in the middle of the song using multiple tempos. So yeah, it's not as easy as just saying, change the tempo. You don't get the benefits of being able to line up on the grid. So it is a good idea to save it towards the end of your song, but that shows you exactly how we can do this and we can get multiple tempos here in GarageBand iOS. There you have it, not the most intuitive or easy to use process, but it does work and it can help you when you've got two parts of a song, one slow, one fast, you wanna join those together. Thanks again for watching. If you'd like to check out some more videos, there's two down below. You can subscribe by clicking and tapping on the top right and I'll see you on the next video.